okay, we have a word problem. So let's read the problem so we can determine what strategy we have to use to solve. Jack purchased some Colby cheese. If the price of the cheese is $5.98 per pound, how much did Jack pay? Examine the scale to determine the weight. Now in this problem, they tell us that this Colby cheese is $5.98 per pound. That means for each pound that Jack purchases, he's going to pay $5.98. So if he purchased two pounds, we would multiply $5.98 by two, or if he purchased three pounds, we would multiply by three, and so on. But in this case, Jack purchased somewhere between two pounds and three pounds when looking at the scale. And notice that this arrow is pointing right in the middle of two and three. And because it is halfway between two and three, we would say that Jack purchased two and a half pounds. And when we express that as a decimal, that would be five, I'm sorry, that would be two and five tenths. So if we multiply $5.98 by the weight, which is two and a half pounds, that would give us the total amount that Jack will have to pay for the Colby cheese. So five times eight is 40, carry the four. Five times nine is 45, plus four is 49. We have to carry the four up here. Five times five is 25, plus four is 29. And now that we have finished multiplying this place value, we have to put a zero in that same place value and go to the next place value. Let's just cross these numbers we carried from the previous step so we don't reuse them. Okay, two times eight is 16. So we put a six here and carry the one. Two times nine is 18 plus one is 19. Carry the one and two times five is 10 plus one more is 11. Now we have to add these digits up. This column is a sum of zero. This column is a total of 15. This column here is a total of 19. Carry the one, and this column is a total of four. And we have just one sitting over here. Now notice in the problem, after this decimal, we have two place values. And after this decimal, we have one place value. So that is a total of three place values located after all of the decimals in your problem, which means that in the answer, you have to place your decimal so you have three place values after it as well. So we count the last three place values in our answer, and then we place our decimal. Now because this total is a dollar amount, we only are allowed to have two numbers after the decimal. So what we can do is simply get rid of the zero right here, and we have our answer, which is a total of $14.95 paid for the Colby cheese.